there's also a presumption that way more people know about this Boston with the $2 signs. Listen, if you want to think everybody knows, that's fine. But I'm telling you they don't, okay? This stuff needs to be explained to your average nerd. Or you're not going to have average nerds watching. You're only going to have hardcores. Brian, Brian and Vinny, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. Wrestling. We actually have some mixed feedback. I thought this was the best AW pay-per-view there's ever been. I thought there was one, arguably two, five-star matches on the show. I think I have six matches at four stars or more. This show was incredible. Unforgettable. Fuck BR Live. I hope they go out of business. Somebody needs to replace them. I don't ever want to buy a show through their app again. It fucking sucks. That's all I got to say. Brian Danielson took so much of this match. He beat him, and he beat him, and he beat him, and you know where this is going. He beat him, and he beat him, and he beat him, and he beat him. And he'd beat him more, and he'd beat him. And he'd beat him, and he'd beat him, and he'd beat him. And he's just fucking beating him. A mystery figure hits the ring. It is the newly shaggy Kyle O'Reilly. He appeared to be actually sobbing at this reaction he got. I don't know if he expected to be welcomed back so warmly. And when I say bleeding, he may have given himself with a firearm of some sort. Maybe a firearm is the wrong choice of weapon in this FTR match. That's what I could have chosen that word better. Super duper mega galactic star reaction. He's the man. He's the man now. Be the baby face, face of your promotion. It's what this place is missing and has been missing for a while. And it's right fucking there, standing in front of you, and he's currently in a heel group. Can you imagine what it must be like to be Will Ospreay? How was work this week? Well, I did my job this week better than pretty much every other person in my profession will do their job in any week this year. Then next week I'm going to do it again. Then next week I'm going to do it again. And next week I'm going to do it again. He's unreal. He's out for an indefinite period of time. Basically the same situation that caused him to almost miss the pay-per-view he will now be taking time off for that it was not a five-star match but it was a 17-star segment he goes through the glass which explodes and rips him into fucking ground beef one of the announcers goes doctor's heading over with gauze i'm like oh good well as long as he's got gauze it's midnight the place is going ballistic and matthew frantically frantically taps out this will not be everyone's cup of tea, because it was completely violent and insane, but it's undeniable there were five-star moments in this match. It's had to be the greatest retirement match of all time. This match was fucking perfect. This was a perfect retirement. He tells us, I'm getting time cues, and the screen goes to black. <laughs> yeah. Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of any show on his back, Jack, for all of these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short granny, surgery. Granny laugh. Granny, removal of cyst near his left testicle. Oh my gosh. I think it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out. The John Holmes extension. The adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says oh. gag reflex removal. <laughs> That's mean. He put a pork chop in his rectum. <laughs> I think that you've been suffering from sore assesis. Seven days, you've been saving that one. <laughs> yeah. The fact is, I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragon ass. <laughs> Greg, please. The Undertaker and Jake the Snake versus Macho Man Randy Savage and Hacksaw Dugan. Undertaker again came in with the, the usual... Uh, Bong... Yeah, no, he didn't do the bong this time. 1950 pop culture quiz. The blank moved from New York to San Francisco in Giants. 1957. Holy sh... <laughs> a sports question? A sports ball question. Brian got it right. Do you know what sport? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> the blank corporation introduced jute boxes that could play 45 and RCA. Wait a minute. I gotta see if I have the answer. Hound a dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong question. Hound dog? It's an Elvis Presley song. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Thank God we did this. <laughs> well, what's the answer? What was the question? <laughs>
Superstar Billy Graham does an inset promo from the desert. So Meanwhile, Mike Sharp's going. He claps. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. <laughs> he is fantastic. Today I was called a concerned troll. How was I trolling them, you ask? Well, I said, you know, uh, the Dynamite show probably would have done better this week with Sting's retirement ceremony. And then what it did when they announced two matches, and uh, and it did not a very great number. There's also a presumption that way more people know about this Boston with the $2 signs. Listen, if you want to think everybody knows, that's fine. But I'm telling you, they don't, okay? This stuff needs to be explained to your average nerd. Or you're not going to have average nerds watching. You're only going to have hardcores. That was such a WWE segment right there. Mm -hmm. And then it was followed by a WWE match. Very much so. Where a set of tag team champions Thank you. were essentially beaten by one man. Destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck did they not announce that Okada had signed and was going to be on this show? Mm. 3,000 fans, dude. Under 800,000 viewers. Well, it's about time EW had a dominant main event heel. <laughs> That's sarcasm. I know. Yeah. Because because we literally are where we were like four years ago in WWE. It was the same thing everybody complained about with Vince and WWE. They can't make a top baby face. They only know how to make heels. Yeah. And thank God they've got Will Ospreay now. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, but it seems like a, I don't want to say a waste, but a, not the best use of Ogata. Chris Statlander versus Rio was awesome. This match was so much fun. This was a total David and Goliath. He notes there is no guarantee he is coming back alive, which is true. The The odds are he is coming back alive, but it's not a guarantee. No, it's, it's not a guarantee. Absolutely true. His, his odds of coming back alive are significantly lower than if you would go to see the mall or the ocean. Osprey is a mind-blowing megastar. His entrance, before the match, he has everything you would want a true superstar to do. He's one of a kind. Uh, this match did uh, 654,000, which is way below average. Uh, 654,000 people will tune in just to see a banger. But otherwise, it's star power. Mm -hmm. It's a meaningful match that has been built up for a while. That's what's going to get people to tune into the show. Two great athletes. They can do a bunch of cool shit. They got all this... Bro, this match was stupid. It's a box that says, do not open. Well, Dijak opens a box. A fucking boxing glove on a hand flies out and punches him in the face. So Dijak put him in a goddamn straitjacket, at which point Gacy beat him up in a straitjacket. Then he taped his fucking eyes shut, at which point Gacy beat his ass blind. I'm like, who the fuck? Who the fuck put this match together? Were they blind? I am going to journey to the farthest darkness, and I am going to conjure up the most diabolical thoughts of torture, and I'm going to reach into my opponent's body, and I am going to take out their soul until they are crying and screaming in complete agony! Now, if your tag team partner said those words to you, what would your response be to that fucking maniacal outburst would it be these words are you going to do that for me or for the titles this one Vinny this one takes the cake these guys are good absolutely, absolutely. the virgin is a good virgin growing balls and uh, you know Brooks is a good fornicator that's the, that's the word. You know, she's being stretched out. Booker T says, Shucky ducky. <laughs> quack, quack. In the most grave, morose manner you could possibly say, Shucky ducky, quack, quack. I laughed so hard. <laughs> she will accept the match, but if she wins, she gets to give Gigi a makeover. I need to see these vignettes. That's Dude, all I got to say. Why? Ariana teaching Gigi how to be a lady. Gigi acting? <laughs> yeah. I'm all in, brother. If that's what it takes. Bro, we've seen the bottom of the barrel with to Lyra get you in the ring. and Tatum. No, so this like, is worse. No, I'm telling you this is worse. It's not worse. 
Lyra Antietam is you, stupider. You will apologize. Lyra Antietam is stupider. You this will is worse. apologize. What would we all do? You, Carmelo versus Trick for the NXT title. That, that's your top. Every matches. person on earth would do that, except them. Yeah. I mean, the only other explanation that I can come up with for not having Trick challenge for the title is if their plan is Trick is going up to the main roster. That's true. The Raw after WrestleMania. Yeah. 